Hi everyone, it's Karen Kennedy, Fearlessly Fit Model here in beautiful Miami. And today I'm going to show you how to do some exercises at home. It's like squats to really get that rounded out bubble booty. Alright, so now one of the best exercises for the glutes is the barbell squat. So you can get yourself a barbell for about 10, 20, 30 dollars depending on what you need. This one here is 15 pounds. So the key is get yourself a barbell and get started. So what we're going to do first is the um, barbell squat with just the, the feet about hip width apart. So you just get in a normal stance and put the weight into your heels and then slowly lower down, pushing your butt back and keeping the weight in your heels and then slowly push up. Weights down and up. You really feel your glutes engage. All right, so the key is, if you guys have noticed, I'm in my heels, pushing my butt way back. The barbell helps to keep your core stabilized, your back straight. So again, straight back, butt down, and your knees should not go past your toes. Push your butt back. Go down. Keep everything tight. Okay, so the key with the barbell squat is that you learn to push yourself. So if you're, um, ideally, you want to use the right weight of the bar and do about 8 to 15 reps. So you really feel that you're pushing and working those muscles back here. However, when you get started, the most important thing is good form. So I recommend if you're just getting started, start with a lighter barbell and do 20 to 30 reps just until you get the form perfect. Once you get the form perfect, you can start to perfect your form by increasing your weight of your barbell. All right, now we're going to do another type of, of barbell squat, and this is called the wide stance. It's almost like a ballerina turnout in a, in a wide squat. You're a little bit further um, than your shoulders, or a little wider than your shoulders, and go ahead and bring the barbell up over your head. Place it on the soft part of your like your shoulders back there. You're going to turn the feet out just a little bit and again, shoulders back, core tight, put the weight in your heels and slowly lower it down. This move, you find you can sometimes go deeper. Also, you may find it is a lot easier than a narrow stance squat. What you have to do is find what works for you, get your form right, then you can start to increase your weights.
All right, so that was the wide stance barbell squat. Key thing to remember, if you really want to build a bodacious backside, you need to go 8 to 15 reps. You really need to challenge your body. However, don't forget, form is better than weight over anything. So please, start with 20 to 25 reps if you're just getting started to get your form perfect. And then, again, move up that weight so that you can really start to build out your glutes. All right, another great piece of fitness equipment to have at your home is dumbbells. You wanna start with five or 10 pounds or you can go heavier if you like. The key is these are great for really working that backside and overall body condition. All right, the first exercise we're gonna start with today is the closed stance squat. And um, this is really good for targeting the gluteus maximus, but it's all about form. So first off, feet, our shoulder width apart. You should be able to see your toes. And what you're gonna do is you roll your shoulders back, engage that core, make sure that your weight is in your heels and slowly lower it down. Let the weights just kind of travel outside your knees. You get about here, which is about mid calf, and you press back up. Put that weight in your heels. Otherwise, I don't know what you're doing this for. So get that weight in your heels. All right, so next in our dumbbell series is the wide stance with our toes slightly turned out squat. So what you're gonna do, get your dumbbells, feet are a little bit more than shoulder width apart, weights in the heels, roll your shoulders back. You're gonna bring your weights almost parallel together and you drop your buddy, your, drop your butt down and squeeze on the way up. Keep that form by trying to hold those weights parallel as you go up and down. Remember, shoulders back, core tight, back straight, weights in the heels, and please make sure that your knees don't go past your toes. So many of you may find this is actually a little bit easier. You gotta do what works for your body. The key is to just do it. All right, so here's a key tip. If you want to get your thighs bigger, then do more of the wide stance squats. However, if that isn't part of your goals, then stay focused on the close stance squat. Now, if you want a little bit of both, then do wide and narrow. 